In today's video, we're going to be going over what's in my home lab right now and what I plan to learn and do to the home lab over 2024. Hi everyone, my name is Robert Meisen and I make videos on beep beep stuff. As you heard in the intro, I'm going to be taking you over my home lab and also what I plan to learn and do to my home lab over 2024. Firstly, I'm going to take you through the practical layout of my home lab. After that, I'm going to take you through what services I'm currently running on my home lab. And at the end of the video, I'm going to go through what I plan to learn and what I'm planning to do to the home lab this year. If you have any ideas uh, about the plans that I'm doing, or if you think there's something else I should do, please do leave a comment down below. I would appreciate that. Always looking to learn more. Right, home lab tour. So for those of you that haven't seen, my server rack is a small one that sits below my desk. On my server rack, I have a uh, Apple cinema display here, which I use for plugging into uh, different servers and stuff. I can put it on top of my desk when I need to. Here is some rails for the server that's inside, which I haven't put on yet. And at the back there, you can see a couple of um, uh, Philips Hue and IKEA uh, hubs, which are used for controlling my uh, various IoT of smart devices around the house. Now, if I open up the network server rack, right now I am currently changing a few things in here. I uh, recently installed this keystone uh, panel uh, so that I can terminate all of these behind here. Um, at the top we have an aggregation switch, Ubiquiti aggregation switch, 10 gig. Plugs directly to my computer which is also 10 gig. As well as plugging into the UDM SE which is here. Uh, so that it's 10 gig traffic there. And basically I have various 10 gig network cards that are plugging into here to this server at the bottom. So this is a custom build uh, AMD Epic server, which is my TrueNAS scale server right now. And then everything is plugged into this UDM SE here. These two cables, they go to um, my uh, Wi-Fi right now, which is uh, further back in the living room. So all these cables right now plan to be terminated here. These two cables, these gray ones, they actually go up onto my desk on this, which is a power strip and also uh, network ports. So I can plug uh, various stuff up here, like servers or motherboards I'm working on and plug them directly into the network without having to come down to here. Right now I have this sitting on a bunch of books because it doesn't have any rails, which is what I have up here. So when I get round to that, that's gonna be installed this year. So this will be sitting on some rails. One of the other upgrades that I plan to do this year is build a small Proxmox cluster using small computers like HP Pro Desks or Elite Desks or those kind of small stations basically. And I'll put them in here in some way and that will act as my Proxmox cluster. So right now I just have one server running, this one, uh, which is like I said is TrueNAS scale only. Underneath my desk I have my UPS. So all my server equipment and network rack stuff is plugged into that and on my desk as i mentioned from the other side this strip here plugs underneath the desk which includes two one gig network ports which is great for uh, plugging into network for motherboards and stuff that's on my desk that i'm working on as well as three power um, sockets and some usb ports which all go uh, underneath basically so that's a really handy little um, mod i made to the desk so now that we've gone over that, I'm going to take you through what I'm running as services on my home lab. Okay, so this is um, my TrueNAS server right now. Um, and you can see some of the specs here. Um, it's got quite a lot of RAM in. I have an AMD Epic 7232. It's an 8-core CPU, 16 threads. Um, so it works pretty well. Um, if we go over to apps then we can see some of the app services that are running on here. There's quite a lot of stuff running on this box. I'm using True Charts at the moment, although I'm in the middle of a bit of a migration after um, IX Systems announced their, essentially a question mark on the Kubernetes implementation inside of this. So hence the idea for the Proxmox cluster. As you can see here, I have Homer running, which I'm currently in the middle of setting up following some Techno Tim guides on uh, setting up Homer. So it's not finished yet, but I am planning on using this as my kind of landing page for the home lab. I have things like Kvita for books and uh, LiDAR, JellySea, stuff like that for 
ripping Blu-rays, DVDs, music, um, anything that we buy online, um, eBooks and stuff like that, put it into one place so it's on the server instead. Uh, Napodrome, really like that. I use Mattermost, um, definitely recommend that. Um, they're using that for chat and stuff like that, mostly in a professional context, but uh, that's one main thing I'm using. Nextcloud, um, obviously, that's like the first one you should install really when you're doing uh, home labs, it's very useful. Um, I have that paired with OnlyOffice. I really like OnlyOffice um, over the other ones. I think that OnlyOffice is just much smoother to like and uh, much smoother to use and also uh, the desktop applications work really well. Pi-hole I have running on here um, and uh, some uh, NZB downloaders, Sonar, the usual stuff. I have Wiki.js that I'm using from my internal documentation. Um, definitely it's very fast. That's another one that I recommend there. Um, and I have this accessible via um, multi-factor authentication using YubiKeys. So some of these services I have exposed um, and I'm using things like Traffic and uh, Cloudflare, uh, a mix of those two to handle security and uh, logging in remotely. So Nextcloud, for example, I can access remotely uh, across all of the devices uh, like my wife, me, uh, with our phones and laptops and stuff like that um, using YubiKeys. Right now I have, um, this is my uh, UDM SE setup here. And if we go to topology, you can see roughly the layout here. Everything goes through the UDM SE. Um, and then right now I'm gonna be wiring everything through the aggregation switch. Um, so right now I also have the TrueNAS server plugged into the UDM SE. However, once I start terminating everything, then it will run through the 10 gig aggregation. So that means I can transfer files from my computer to um, the TrueNAS box and uh, that will be even faster. Other than that, I don't really have anything more complicated set up here. I'm currently uh, reconfiguring the network. I used to have an extra PoE switch and another UDM Pro. Um, I switched over to an SE and then retired the other PoE switch uh, to reduce the um, power usage on the home lab. As for my storage, I have three pools set up on TrueNAS scale. I have one um, mirrored uh, SSD set up, two SSDs, 500 gig in total. That's basically just an app pool that just handles like the stuff that runs inside of scale. Uh, then I have a core. This handles like not crucial data, but all of the ripped um, movies and music and stuff like that. Stuff that I could just re-rip again if I needed to. That's 10 terabytes of storage. Um, and it's pretty, uh, yeah, that works fine. It's got one failover. So it's four hard drives, each of them four terabytes. Then I have a more uh, higher data um, uh, RAID setup here, a Z2, four uh, hard drives, four terabytes each. Uh, but they're set up in a Z2, so it's just under seven terabytes of usable storage. And this is where next cloud data goes and photos and stuff like that. So there's two drive failures on this one um, that it can handle. So uh, that's pretty much like uh, the RAID setup of my TrueNAS box right now. So here I have my Wiki.js uh, installation. I use Obsidian uh, and uh, I have these two kind of linked up uh, since they both use Markdown. Um, and right now I'm kind of moving everything from Obsidian into a web-based one also, so I'm using Wiki.js for that. Uh, then I can kind of go in here, I can list out on projects. So I have my Proxmox cluster that I'm planning. So where I'm currently, uh, where I am in that and stuff like that, like any ideas I just write down in here so I can access it from outside. Um, then also uh, I use this for my job as well so I can create uh, documents that I'm planning for my students for example and I can just link them to this. So that's basically the layout of my TrueNAS skill right now. Um, the two main projects I have this year are the Proxmox cluster and that's pretty much to move the apps from TrueNAS scale over to the Proxmox cluster. I'll start with the lightweight apps first moving them over. Um, I'm planning at least three or four nodes for the Proxmox cluster um, so that I can keep up time as high as I can. And the other thing is to deal with termination of all the cabling inside of the um, network part of the server rack. So those are my two main uh, projects this year, pretty much. While I hope the video was interesting for you, please do remember to like the video if you do like it and subscribe to me if you wanna see more of my home lab journeys and updates so you don't miss anything. 
I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel so far. Definitely enjoying doing this. Please do leave a comment down below for any ideas or improvements you might think on the home lab would be good and any questions that I might be able to help you with. As always, I will see you in the next video.